schnitzel. It's fried, it's crunchy, you put salt and lemon on it, it tastes great. Just about everybody I know loves schnitzel. I love schnitzel. It's my treat little sort of dinner when I want something that's a little bit like takeaways, but I want to know where it came from. I've got some pork here, and I'm going to basically crumb this and fry it really quickly. It cooks really fast because you can probably see how thin this meat is, and it tastes great. First of all, I need to just have a look at this meat. What I'm worried about is little stringy bits like that. There's a little bit of fat over here, which I don't really want, so I'll get rid of that as well. And any bits of sort of sinew going through the middle, no, that one's fine. I don't need to worry about that. That one's all set to go. That one's got a little bit of fat on the edge here. I'll just chop that off. And let's have a look at this one. Yeah, let me get rid of that. So we'll give those to the cat. Whoops, take that off as well. So what I've got is nice pieces of very thin pork, which have had the bits of fat cut off the edges. It's got no sinew running through. Sometimes you see a piece of sinew running through it like that. Just nick it with a knife. The reason, and if there's anything around the edge, so you, you nick it. Because, of course, if you put that into fry, those pieces of sinew that go through the meat will shrink up quicker than the meat, and they'll pull it out of shape, and you want this to stay flat. So that's why you do that. So that's all ready to use now. This is how you crumb the schnitzel. I've got seasoned flour here. I've got a mixture of eggs beaten with milk, and I've got some dried bread crumbs. Now, if you don't want to use dried bread crumbs, you can make fresh bread crumbs by just ripping up a piece of stale bread, you know, some good bread, and sticking it into the food processor, processing it until you've got crumbs. That'll work just, just as well as these dried bread crumbs which I got from the supermarket. What happens is, is you dip the meat into the flour, give it a shake, you dip it into the egg, so it almost forms a kind of batter, so it gets a very sticky coating on the outside, and then you put it into these dry bread crumbs, which of course stick to it and you end up with crumbed meat. And that's what I'm going to do now. I've got a clean plate here to put it on, and off I go. So, into the seasoned flour first. Make sure you get it all covered up. Give it a shake, and then drop it into there. So, all over the meat. Push that under. And good policy to only get one hand really dirty in case you have to answer the phone. And the idea is, of course, is you do it like a production line and you have everything sorted out, ready to go before you start. Just push those under and then take them out, let it drain a wee bit and straight onto the dry breadcrumbs. Heat them over the top like that and give it a good slap. You really want those to stick. You're going to make it stick. Right, all ready for a very quick fry and some nice hot oil.